What's up, YouTube? This is Brub52, and welcome back to the two-parter. I thought that was my boomerang. I thought that was my boomerang. Ugh, I wasted a fairy. It's not like I need it. I'm a pro. Or I don't know. We're going to be finishing up uh, Inside Jabby Jabby Story in this episode. We're not going to go into 20-minute long episodes anymore. I'm really sorry. I want them to be 10 to 15 minutes. I, they're way too long. People get bored of the 20 minute ones, so I'm, I'm trying to do way shorter ones. But I'm always just trying to cram stuff in all these videos. Anyway, this is how you do this puzzle. That's what that is. And anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Coming up on the final boss right here. Uh, Princess Rudo got captured last time, as you guys saw. So, what we gotta do is we gotta get to where she is, bros, and fight the final boss of the dungeon. Fun fact, I actually beat Breath of the Wild last night. The actual game. I did do three episodes of it, and then I played, like, on a personal account, and I actually got far enough to beat the game, obviously. From what I just told you. So, uh, can you pick up the bucket, please? Okay, well. And... Boop! Struts. And here we are, fast. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, next door is the dungeon. The dungeon boss. So we just gotta kill these guys right out of the scan. Kill these guys right out of the scan. I say, kill these guys right out of the scan. Yeah. Oh, uh, there is a skull to load, as you guys can hear. In this room. I will show you what this person is. Right here. Look at that. Look at that thing right there. That's a skull to load. I just don't know about that. Maybe you do. I have no clue. Who might I say? I like them boomerang through intestinal areas of giant fish. I love missing my target over a billion times. Anyway. There's that. What you gotta do... Oh. There's a puzzle up here. What you gotta do is you gotta throw your boomerang. So that you can activate the switch up here at the top. And then it'll open the door. So, you gotta do fancy throws. Pretty easy. And there we go, boys. Jump! I said jump! Whatever, that's good enough. <laughs> Here we go, final boss. Let's do it. Barely two minutes and we're already finishing up the dungeon. I love this this music for the boss fight the best out of all, all of them. Let's hear it very soon. God, I forgot. I'm going straight for him. Like, I don't even care. Oh, God. I forget. I have to actually kill these guys. I keep getting way too close. Okay. Now to talk about the boss fight, we just gotta stun him with our boomerang. Get our guy in there. Right, kill those guys. And he's gonna spin around. Where is he? There he is. Super easy. Just stun him. Get over here, bro. Got him. Go for it. Oh, crap. And then we gotta do fancy running. Because he's gonna try to zap us with his stuff. He's coming up! He's coming up! Oh, come on, already down again. Scrub! Okay. 
he's up. He's up, boys, he's up. Got to get him, let's go. Yes, we beat the child life. There he goes, he's dead, he exploded. And there it is, the her container. And there's Rudo. Look how happy she is to see us. You, you're late. What took you so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little. Sure, Rito to. Sure. A little close for comfort there. And then she's gonna swim with us for some reason. <laughs> I mean, of course there's a reason. But there's a reason that is not important. Oh, dang. You. You looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would anyway. Just a little. Just a little lonely, also. I'm a little of everything, exactly. Uh, well, anyway, you saved me. Uh, what do you wish? Just tell me. The spiritual, spiritual stone. I mean, the spiritual stone of water, source sapphire, don't you? It's bad grammar on my part. My mother gave it to me. I said I should give it only to the men who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Alright. I'll give you my most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. And then she gives us her most precious possession, Zora Sapphire. Right there. It's the blue thing. I helped you guys. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. You obtained Zora's Sapphire. This is a spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones. Go back to the Sea Princess Zelda. And we get a little cool cutscene about what's going down at the castle very soon. But sure, I won't spoil it for you guys, but we got some stuff to get before we do do that. That is a sculpt. Oh, mate, I may have. Oh, no, I don't think I got on this one. Anyway. Just some skull tools to get with the boomerang. We're gonna finish up all the minor stuff for a child link right before we turn to adult, but we'll turn to the adult by the end of this episode. Uh, but I won't spare you all the walking around to show you guys where everything is. Yeah, this guy, though. And this will actually get me my ticket to the next reward for the Skull Tool House. Anyway, so next we need to go to the, uh... Lon Lon Ranch. So, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there, boys. Okay, we're at Lomon Ranch. Now you want to play the Sun Song, so we get our school tools spawned in. Like so. Anyway, so there is one on this window that you need the boomerang to get, obviously. That's why we're backtracking here. Right up on that window. And then we do our thing, we do the thing, we do the thing, like that. And there it is. And there's a second one over on this wall on the far right. Okay, so he's right here. Right up on that wall. There you go. 
That is number 22 or 3. Pretty sure it's 22. Right there, that is. So, I'll be right back when we go to Kakariko and get a reward for 20 school tools. Okay, so we're in Kakariko now, and because we have 20 school tools, we can get the reward, which I'm just sad. So, gonna get that. And then, he'll continue with the story and finish off with the final cutscene of turning Link into an adult. But anyway, here's our reward. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's your reward. And. Stone of Agony. I'm not sure if it works on the port. I don't think so, but maybe. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the uh, Hyrule Castle, and then oh, and then I will show you what is about to go down. Here we go, boys. I'll be quiet for this, mostly. Ugh, I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop past just now. Which way did it go? Answer me. So, you think you can protect them from me? You got guts, kid. You want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. <laughs> Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you're dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule this world. Okay, so Zelda threw the Ocarina of Time over here in the lake water area, and we have to pick it up. I missed. There we go. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure with, with Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. And then you have a Breath of the Wild-esque memory. Actually, no. It's more be. Ocarina of Time esque, and it's not relevant to anything. Step, step. Brub, when you hold this Ocarina in your hand, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you the Ocarina and this melody. Dang it, I ruined the moment. <laughs> 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 
you've learned the Song of Time. Now, Brub, play this melody in front of the altar in the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. And there we go. Alright, so now, boys and girls, before we turn into a dual link, I know it's. I've been dragging this out way too long. We got two secrets to see. One is very short, the other is just to get a spell, but it is in this back alleyway. Sasha! Sasha! No, 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 no straws for you. No straws. No e straws. Okay. Good girl. Contain yourself. Okay. Sorry about that. It's in this back alley. Mm. Are you the boy from the forest? I, I, I finally met you. I have something to tell you. Ganondorf, the greater king of thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I tried to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but... The princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to the boy. If he received it from the princess, hurry to the Temple of Time. So now that that's happened, uh, we have to go get Din's fire from the castle, which we will do right now. It's really easy, really. Just go the same route we did right way back in the old days. Up this wall. Let me get the bombs out, actually. Not... That there and that. Okay. So it's those builds over there you can see from where I am right now. There we go. I know. We'll be an adult by the end of this episode, I promise. Anyway. Another great fairy sound. Welcome, bruv. I'm the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> there it is, Din's Fire. You got Din's Fire. It's fireball and engulfs everything. It's attack magic you can use. Let's see. You can use Din's Fire not only to attack, but also to burn things. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. And that's that. I actually got refilled just a little tiny bit. And they're off. Alright. So now, boys, I will see you at the Temple of Time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Temple of Time. There are three hollows and an inscription here. Ye who owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads.
Brub, isn't that... It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to open the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Dang it, Ganon. Oh, I know scoped it right back into its back. <laughs> Brub. <laughs> Wake up, Brub, the chosen one. I am the chosen one. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. A Temple of Light situated in the very center of the sacred realm is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying the sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, was the final key to the sacred realm. Brub, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Oh, dang. Look, Brub. You're big now. You've grown up. Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of the Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the hero of time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Obviously, yes, but remember. Though, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of the Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the king of evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. That power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm, namely this chamber of sages. But there's still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all of the stages, sages is awakened, the sages seals will contain all of the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Ragurum, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Oh, I thought there was more after that. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. And boys, we get the light medallion. You received the Light Medallion. Raru the Sage adds his power to yours. Find the other Sages and save Hyrule. Alright. I'll do that. I'll be sure to do that.
Brub, we're back in the Temple of Time. But if seven years really passed, it looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages, who dwell in the five temples, one in a deep forest, one in a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, and one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the Forest Temple. The sage is a girl that I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I am saying, you should head to the Kakarika village. Do you understand, Brub? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like and comment, as you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one, where we'll be prepping for the forest temple, so, I'll see you next time. Bye guys!